So I got up a little early today and decided, hmm, you know what sounds good? Let's straighten our hair today. See? Might as well. Then there was a complicating factor, and I'm just going to show it to you. That's what they're telling me will be seven inches of snow by the end of it. I swear I'm cursed. Every time I straighten my hair, there's some sort of precipitation. I mean, I suppose I could look at the weather forecast, but why bother doing that? I like to live on the wild side. Yeah. What I want to talk to you about today is, I think I might be a geek. <laughs> in fact, I know I am. Backstory. <laughs> One of the classes I'm in is called Art and Architecture of Ancient America. For our first assignment, we had to go to the Peabody Museum over at Harvard and draw an artifact. I'd show you my drawing, but I turned it in. And anyway, it took me like four hours <laughs> to draw this thing. It was this stirrup spout pot. Anyway, I picked that one because it was really entertaining to me. It has this lizard man on it wearing a kilt and he's holding back this other guy with like rays emanating out of his hat and in between them just completely randomly is this little dog I was just like everything else was like these very smooth pots with swirlies on them or it's a very colorful textile that had just a bunch of geometric patterns on it but no I was really intrigued by this lizard man so I spent my four hours drawing him and today we had our talk on the moche culture which the pot was from them. And she shows us this slide and it's a stirrup spout. And it isn't a lizard man, but it's, I think it was a bird man? It's a bird man who is offering um, a cup full of sacrificial blood to another god that has rays emanating out of its head. And in between them, there was a little dog. And like, I know that! My squee of fangirly joy for moche art patterns and it was after that class that I was like wow I'm a nerd <laughs> but I suppose it's good because I mean I know what I love I love Andean archaeology but my problem is I also love Mayan archaeology my favorite class this semester without a doubt is ancient Mayan civilization and I'm having an absolute blast in it the teacher is so ridiculously entertaining and i I love Mezzo and South American archaeology. Therein lies the problem. When I go to grad school, I can't do American archaeology. Because, God, there's like 15 million different cultures. I have to pick one. And I mean, when I first go into grad school, I can say I want to do Latin American archaeology or Andean archaeology. I love them both. I love Andean because there's so much of an opportunity for more research. They don't have a writing system also, which means I don't have to learn langu another language. Languages are the death of me. But then there's Mayan, which is ridiculously fun, and if you say, oh yeah, I'm a Mayan archaeologist, you can get everyone from, like, lowly third graders up to know what you're talking about. If you say, oh yeah, I'm specializing in the Chan Chan culture, that, w that was the capital of the Chimu Empire. Most people won't know. In fact, I didn't know about that until last semester, and... Consequently, there is now a Facebook flair if you're really interested. But I don't know what I want to pick. Which would you pick? The one that's really well known and you know you can do well. You're having fun. I learned that a dot means one, a bar means five. And like, I think I'm a Bach tune and a kin years old. I don't know. I have my birthday in long count. There, there's so many real little intricacies of the Mayan that I really love. But I, I'm wondering if I would love the Andean just as much if I knew those little intricacies, or if it's more exciting that those little intricacies might not be known yet. Basically, I don't know what I want to specialize in grad school, and seeing as I'm going to be a senior next year, I think I need some help. So, in addition to writing to my advisor, I'm also opening it up to you, wondering if you have any suggestions or ideas. Thanks. Let me know what you think.